That smells amazing. Thank you, thank you. I picked out the eggs myself. But I could have sworn there was a rooster sitting on them. Think he's gay? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, it definitely looks great. Thank you. Aren't you going to have some? No, I can't eat a thing. My stomach's in knots. Has anybody heard from Jack? I haven't seen him. <sighs> well, I got an emergency call last night while we were in bed. <laughs> That's awkward. Yeah. You must know what it's like. Has that ever happened to you? Uh, actually, no. We're not allowed to sleep in the same room. Grandma's rules. Oh, well, don't tell her I said this, but I think rules are meant to be broken. Hmm? I'm sure you're okay. Can you tell me what happened last night? I was in the car on my way to the house, and I saw Carly in the driveway, so I tried to run her down. Janet is hilarious. Yeah, and she makes a mean omelet. Yeah, she's definitely fun to have around. I bet Jack thinks so. What do you think your grandmother will do when she comes home and finds out that she and Jack have been breaking her famous house rules? I don't know. I'm more worried to see what she does when she finds out that Janet rearranged her spice cabinet. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, she may treat them differently because they're older, but I don't think she'd cut us the same slack. You know, I almost came to your room last night, but then I realized that if Grandma caught us there, she'd kick you out. Mm. And I love having you here. I love waking up and knowing that you're the first person I get to see every day. Me too. I, I love being in this house, too. I mean, I just I feel safe here, you know? I haven't felt that way since, since my dad died. Is it getting any easier for you? It's still strange that he's gone. You're, you're lucky you both your parents. Yeah, I know. And uh, speaking of which, I haven't heard from either of them in a really long time. Yeah. Hello? Is, is mom there? She, what? No, no, it, it's okay. What is it? It's my mom. She's in the hospital. It's perfectly normal for the details to be a little hazy this morning, so if you want to wait and talk about the accident some other it time... It wasn't an accident. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. I'm just trying to be honest. You know how Holden values honesty... So you're saying that what happened was not an accident? No. I saw Carly in the driveway, and I put my foot on the accelerator, and I wanted to run her down. But the last second, I couldn't do it. This is insane. This is, why, why would you want to hurt Carly? Oh, I didn't want to hurt her. I wanted to kill her. But then I thought about what it would do to my kids and to yours, and I couldn't do it. So I turned the wheel the other way. Otherwise, she'd be dead. Why don't you arrest me, Jack? Oh, because the only person you hurt, Lily, was yourself. And wanting to kill someone is only a crime if you actually go through with it. Maybe it should be. I'm sorry. I just, I don't understand. Carly's your best friend. Was. Wh okay. Wh what did she do? I feel sorry for you, Jack. I didn't see it coming either. See what? Have Carly and Holden tell you. They can fill you in on all the gory details better than I can. Go ahead. Ask them. Do this here. And Lily found out. Jack, don't. You want to move on with your life? That's fine, but not with him. Not with your best friend's husband. No wonder she wanted to run you down. I don't blame her. I don't either. Yeah. Then why did you do it? There's no excuse. Absolutely none. Look, I take full responsibility. It's not her fault. It's mine. Well, that's very noble of you, Holden, standing up for Carly. It's too bad you didn't have the same consideration for your own wife. Obviously, we both regret this. Yeah, then why did you even go there in the first place? Can we not do this here, please? Oh, right. I knew 
knew something strange was going on with the two of you. All of a sudden, Holden was your best bud. You guys were always together. He helped you at Metro fixing the plumbing. That's that's poetic. Nothing was happening then. Yeah, and you expect me to believe that? Come on, you know what? You believe what you want. But it started out as friends. It was a gradual a thing. We never even Lily, hell, for getting together with Dusty. And then, and then this is what you do? You cheat on her like this? I'm not going to defend what I did. Because you can't. Unbelievable. But you probably had a lot of pressure on you, too, right? I mean, because when Carly wants something, she gets it. And it wouldn't matter if she has to ruin a marriage to get it either, to satisfy herself. You know what? Enough. Carly's taken enough from you. No, actually, I think it's the other way around. Back off. What the hell is she doing here? Get her out of my sight! Here, and how dare you Louis, defend her? Please. Don't you two have any shame? I never meant for it to happen. I'm so sorry. Sorry, really? Do you think that about covers it? No, no, of course not. Carly, maybe you should go. Great, you're going to defend her? I'm in the hospital, and you care what Carly... Uh, you know what? You need to be back in your bed. I'll go. Mom? Are you okay? Yes. I had a little accident, but I'm okay. I'm going to be just fine. Oh. No, you're not. Why are you so mad at Dad and Carly? Mrs. Snyder. Ready for one more exam? Then we can sign your release papers. Yeah. I want to get out of here as soon as possible. Dad? What's going on? Can we not... Can we not do this here? Um, the, the, I, I think maybe I should go. Um, I'll see you later. Well? I, I, I really don't want to talk about it right now. You know what, Dad? Don't do this. Don't treat me like a kid. I deserve to know the truth. What's happening with you and Mom? I, I made a big mistake. Away. No, Jack, I cannot take one of your lectures right now. I really can't. So how'd this thing with Holden start? You don't really want to know. Yes, Carly, I do. So how, how long has this been going on? Like a, well, a week, a month? How long have you two been lying to everybody? Don't question me. I haven't done anything illegal. No, no, no. But try, try a moral. You knew what it would do to Lily. To those children, to our children, and yet that didn't stop you. It's really none of your business, is it? No, no, Carly, no. It has nothing to do with me or the children up there that you claim to care so much about. You don't live here anymore, Jack. Remember, you can leave. Come on. You say it has nothing to do with me, as if sleeping with my best friend and cousin wasn't the perfect way to get back at me for rejecting you. Oh, please. Not everything I do, Jack, has something to do with you. And my getting involved with Holden was not my way of exacting some sort of revenge. It is the last thing in the world I wanted to happen, and I wish to God it never had. 